All right, we're down here at the pad and dad's back there taking some measurements. We're trying to find the center point of this pad so we can put down these, uh, I guess you would call them rails that go on the bottom that the whole system kind of attaches to. It'll make more sense once we get, get things going here. It's going pretty good though. Got a lot of bad weather moving in. Check in those clouds back there. Hopefully the rain will hold off. <laughs>
It works though. Heat shove does work. Alright guys, it's day number two. We got a lot done this morning. It's about one o'clock. All the walls are up, as you can see right behind me, and we just got through putting up the fan wall right there on the very top. So a pretty good progress today and the weather's holding up. Let me show you what's going on down here on the ground. Alright, they're laying out the frame for the door and Jeremy is working awful hard right there. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks, buddy. Did you take a break? You're killing us. Uh, you know, I try to take at least a break every three minutes, and this was my three-minute break. All but right. now that you got me on camera, all right. Pinko, you know, what are you doing? You're what? not even working up the ah, switch, man. Look, look. You <laughs> see that? Every hair is still in that place. Is, <laughs> first off, that's plastic, so every hair is always going to be in place. All right. All right. So we got the frame laid out here on the ground. And we're getting ready to bolt that together and stand it up and move on to the doors. Got the doors right there on the TYM late notice. We're locked in our channel here. You guys in? I'm there. Yeah. You're not going to win any safety awards for this. Well, I don't even wear chaps with my chainsaw. People fuss about me all the time. There's no OSHA here. got finished up for the day Jeremy and Hinko were headed back to the hotel and we got a lot done today even though we got delayed this morning by the rain let me show you guys what all we got finished all right so the goal for today was to have the roof on but because of that rain this morning that put us behind it was almost 11 o'clock 
before we got started. All right, guys, all the walls are up, including the fan wall right there. Tomorrow we'll be installing four fans in each of those holes and the motor behind them. There was a lot of trim pieces and caps to go on the very top. Hinko spent a couple of hours up there just attaching all those screws. There's a lot of fasteners in this building. And over here on the tractor, we have the doors. And there's two doors leading into the kiln, and there's four pieces right there. We'll put those together. They connect to each other right there on the end. Pretty nice doors, and something else real nice about them is the locking mechanism right here. I really like that. But everything's going good, guys. We should have good weather for the rest of the week, and hopefully by Friday, this thing to be running. Alright guys, it is day number three of the kiln build. I'm trying to get Jeremy, but he's running the oh. other way. Where are you at? What's up guys? Alright, this is Jeremy from Nile. I didn't introduce you yet on these little videos. I guess I should. This I is not. Jeremy. What are we doing today, Jeremy? Well, today we're going to do the roof panels. Um, we're also going to be putting on the fan motors. Uh, I think Nathan's going to be doing some wiring and running up some conduit later, so that sounds fun. Alright guys, hang in there with us. Got a lot going on today. All right, a lot's going on here. Dad is working on the fan mounts up there up high. Hinko was putting down some, uh, is that like weather stripping, Jeremy? It's like a gasket, yeah, like Just weather stripping gasket. gasket. Okay, we're putting a gasket down with the roof panels, and the roof panels are right here, and Cabbage is inspecting those. <laughs> so uh, a lot going on here this morning. We'll have that roof on here first thing, and then I think we'll move on to the doors over there on the tractor. Towards me, I want to see how far this hinges. Hold on, the hinges are, you know, out. Try the bottom. Had to re-thread it, basically. Yeah, that first little mishap burned it a little bit, didn't it? You good, Nathan? 
Easy, man. Yeah. For real? <laughs> That's easier on you. I got the ladder. Oh, open says me. A little buckle on the back of it. Well, it's not. Yeah, uh, we'll try to see what we can do there. Oh, that's going to be kind of fit right there. Nice. Well, sounds good to me. Sounds good. That's awesome. All right. So Nathan, nice. Nice. Still got some gas to put around. Two fingers. Two fingers Two to fingers. push that big old door. No way I mean, no force at all. That is awesome. Mounting the power vent. As you can see, the power vent has a, is a fan on the one side and it's got louvers on the other side. Uh, you always mount it so that the fan blows outwards. So the fan side goes on the wall side and the louver side goes towards the inside. And you always mount it so that it can close with gravity. Gotcha. So, okay. So it doesn't open and close on its own. Gravity actually closes it. It just releases. Yes. So as the fan starts blowing, it will open. And as the fan stops, it will close. Perfect. Um, we always mount the powered vent that is blowing out uh, uh, on the rear side of the kiln, which is basically the same side as your L200 is, or we call it the negative pressure side of, of, the, of the main blower fans. So if your main blower fans are blowing in that direction, your power vent will blow in that direction. Perfect. Okay, that's easy to understand.
Okay, it comes up with a warning. It says this action will start the kiln. Make sure that the doors are closed, baffles lowered, and it is safe to do so. All right, it was good shape. While it's running, 